Hey everybody, Alan Weber here on a Wednesday afternoon in the mayor's office uh, for an update. Uh, for those of you who are watching earlier, that was our silent picture version. Now we have sound. Um, face masks. I always start these sessions with mine on uh, as a reminder and a, uh, a visual clue and a visual cue that we do not have COVID-19 licked. Right now, our numbers are all over the place on a day-by-day -day basis. Starting the first of this month, we only had five cases, but the next three days, 17, 13, and 21. Then down to three yesterday, back up to 10. Our uh, seven-day rolling average is 11. That's probably twice uh, or a little more than twice what we need. We need to be in the four vicinity. So. Clearly, we're not uh, controlling the spread of COVID-19. There are probably a lot of factors, including COVID fatigue, everybody in our community feeling a little worn down by the need to wear a mask, use hand sanitizer, practice social distancing. But guess what? Uh, with numbers like this, we all have to be aware that those are the practices that stop the spread of COVID-19. And if we wanna open Santa Fe more fully, if we want the ice rink to open, if we want to keep the GCCC open, if we want to see stores and restaurants continue to be open and people to be able to get their paycheck and use our facilities, we have to be safe first. We still are in, uh, in the throes of a public health emergency. Uh, and whether uh, it's true in other parts of the country, it's absolutely true here in Santa Fe and in Santa Fe County that we're gonna do the right thing to keep you safe, to keep everybody in our community safe. Our older people are at risk. Some of our people who have pre-existing conditions, uh, they may be at risk. So for the people we love, the people we care about, the people we are most concerned about, please remember when you go out, wear your face covering. When you go out, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, practice social distancing, uh, it is what keeps everybody in our community safe. The more we stay safe, the more we can have fun and be open, and then we get to do this in a way that takes care of everybody working together. So don't take it for granted. Uh, we're not out of the woods yet, and it is a serious and important part of our community's commitment to keeping ourselves safe, open, and together. Uh, other things that you know about that we're uh, all concerned about, voting is up and running. Uh, there is uh, voting right now uh, going on. Absentee in-person voting has begun at the Community Convention Center Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, not Monday the 12th. Uh, that is uh, not open on Monday the 12th. But you can start voting at the Community Convention Center, get a little sticker that says I voted early and wear it as a reminder to everybody in our community that this is an election where every voice and every vote will count. There is still in-person same-day voter registration if you're not registered. It's at the county clerk's office. The deadline for registration, Saturday, October 31st. Um, something that mayors are talking about all over the country that I want to just touch on briefly, and that is, uh, I think it's safe to say that this is a very contentious election. There's Emotions are running very high on every possible side. It's not just Democrats and Republicans. It's all different partisans and groups. We need to stay calm. Uh, we need to practice uh, democratic principles. Uh, we need to be respectful of each other. So no matter how the election begins to develop, no matter what the predictions and forecasts are, no matter how long it takes to actually count all the ballots and in the presidential election uh, come up with a, a winner through the Electoral College, let's all stay calm. Let's all be respectful. Uh, let's not be uh, overly emotional. Uh, it's okay to care deeply, it's important to be committed, but it's also important to respect the democratic process. And as uh, Vice President Biden 
said the other night uh, in the uh, presidential debate, uh, whatever the outcome is, he will accept it. He will be uh, disappointed if he loses, uh, but he will not be uh, urging people to take to the streets and practice violence. So let's all begin practicing calm and let's all work hard and get to the finish line. Any election, any race you care about, work hard for your candidate. Uh, put in the time, make the commitment. But uh, remember that there are people who are equally passionate on the other side. Everybody deserves respect. Everybody deserves a chance to have their voice and their vote heard in our democratic process. Uh, if you want an absentee ballot, uh, you can request one online until 5 p.m. Tuesday, October the 20th. So. So many different ways to vote. You can start absentee in person voting. You can request an absentee ballot. You can wait till election day and wear your mask and practice social distancing when you go to the polls. Uh, but let's all make sure we vote. A um, couple of other things to uh, point to. You're probably, I don't know if we have highlighted this very handsome sign that says Soul Smart. Uh, today is Energy Efficiency Day in the country, and also a day in which Santa Fe gets to uh, celebrate our designation as a soul smart city because we are a city making it easier, faster, and more affordable for people in our community to install solar energy. Uh, we have a permitting process that aims to review permits within three days of their submission. Uh, and there are tax credits available, both from the state and the federal government, that can save up to 36% of the cost of solar installation. The solar panel tax credit will be reduced at the end of 2020, so if you want to save money and go solar, do it now. Uh, the reason for energy efficiency, I think we all know, is it is the cheapest form of new energy. Uh, anything else requires investments in capital equipment. Energy efficiency, conservation, produces more energy at the lowest possible cost. Uh, it turns out the city uh, has rebates for new and more efficient appliances. You can go to SaveWaterSantaFe.com. Uh, we have a workforce development program to create jobs around energy efficiency. And uh, we can all say with some pride that since 2009, our single family green building code has avoided 15,400 tons, tons of greenhouse gas emissions and saved individuals, families, residences, thousands of dollars on their utility bills. And that code recently earned us an innovation credit in our recent lead for cities gold certification, only the second city in America to get that designation. So pay attention to Energy Efficiency Day. Be proud about Soul Smart. If you want to go solar, get those tax credits before they disappear. Uh, today is also a, a day in which I had the great pleasure of reading a proclamation about uh, the United States Navy and Navy Week which is November 2nd through 8th, uh, the United States Navy Week in Santa Fe. Uh, this is the proclamation. And it's a recognition of the tremendous contribution uh, that the U.S. Navy makes to our safety, our security, and our economy, and also to the uh, people here in Santa Fe and in New Mexico who are uh, on duty or uh, reserve off reserve. Uh, uh, naval uh, employees, naval uh, reservists serving our country. Turns out the numbers are very impressive. We have more than 1,657 enlisted, 320 active duty naval officers, and more than 260 Navy reservists. Uh, my uncle Jack was in the Navy. Uh, my friend Mike Abrishoff was the captain of the USS Benfold. Uh, and. Uh, really was a hero to me in his service to the country. So uh, 
the week in which we celebrate the Navy, there will be some performances and some public events. That will be the 2nd through the 8th of November. So be aware of that. Um, be aware of um, the drive through flu shot clinic. Uh, Christus St. Vincent, Main Hospital on St. Mike's, 455. St. Mike's, Saturday, 8 to 1 p.m. You can get your flu shot free of charge. Uh, apparently, um, according to our public health experts, uh, this is a very important part of dampening down the impact of COVID in our community. Uh, if we all wear masks, if we all wash our hands, use hand sanitizer and reduce COVID and get a flu shot, we are very, very well positioned to reduce COVID and make any flu exposure much less serious. So do both. Stay safe from COVID, get a flu shot. Uh, yesterday I had the great uh, honor of attending a police promotion ceremony out at the police headquarters, a new sergeant. Uh, we are growing, building, and uh, seeing our police department mature from within. It's really great uh, to see uh, the men and women of the Santa Fe Police Department progressing through the ranks and taking on more leadership roles and responsibilities. Uh, we'll keep you posted as more officers uh, join the ranks um, and see how we build the Santa Fe Police Department as we continue to watch that department take on the responsibility of being the best department in the country, uh, practicing policing in line with the principles of community safety, community engagement, uh, a use of force policy that is right down the line uh, in concert with the eight can't wait principles of President Obama. And this is a police department that is working very hard, very conscientiously to grow and interact with the community in a positive way. And it's part of the reorganization that we passed uh, with the City Council to make a new department that combines community health with community safety. Uh, you'll hear that tonight if you tune in to the Quality of Life Committee meeting. They'll be talking about our strategy for ending chronic homelessness in Santa Fe. That strategy includes integrating public health with public safety, sending the right people to do the job when we're interacting with people in our community who are experiencing homelessness or who may also be battling mental or behavioral health issues. It's one of the most complex issues in the country. Every mayor in America that I know is dealing with the uh, challenge of homelessness, mental and behavioral health in a population that has also been struck by the ongoing crisis in public health from COVID-19 and the economic challenge of losing a job and potentially losing a place to live. Uh, so we're working hard on it. We have a strategy. It's called Built for Zero. We've got a team that we're working with of nonprofits, the county, uh, trying to get wraparound services for our residents who are experiencing homelessness and building up our assets as well as our service level so we can keep people safe, provide shelter, and over time, provide housing for everybody in Santa Fe. Uh, don't forget that the uh, another one of our favorite themes is the census. The deadline is October 31st, it's coming up. Everybody who registers and completes the questionnaire brings money back to Santa Fe. Uh, the census is a once every 10 year chance for us to get our fair share of federal money. So go and complete the questionnaire. It'll take five minutes online, my2020census.gov. It brings money back to Santa Fe for roads and streets, facilities, but also to help feed seniors and take care of kids and look after families. So. Uh, it's my2020census.gov. It is anonymous, and you are not asked whether you have documents or not. It's simply, do you live here in America? If you live in the United States, you qualify, you count. Please be counted by the census. 
Uh, one last uh, item to alert you to, uh, it's in the city charter that the mayor is asked to give an annual state of the city uh, address, state of the city um, presentation to the people of Santa Fe. Uh, tomorrow, because of COVID-19, it'll be a Zoom call or a Facebook performance kind of like this. It won't be uh, over at the convention center. We won't have music. We'll simply uh, have a chance for me to report into you what I think the last year was about and what next year I hope will be about as we recover from COVID-19. Pivot to the hard and important work of serving you, the people of Santa Fe, who are the social glue, the economic glue, the, the spiritual glue, the glue of hope and compassion that holds our community together. If you want to uh, check the uh, State of the City address out, it's tomorrow, 5 p.m. Uh, you can find it on the city's website. Uh, it'll be low key, but I hope informative and useful for you to hear directly from me. Kind of what I've been doing every, every one of these webcasts, which is keeping you up to date with the progress we're making on COVID-19, the public health emergency that is changing everything in our lives, but also how we're dealing with the economy, how we're dealing with social issues, how we're updating and improving services to you in our delivery of city services right here in Santa Fe. That about does it for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you caught the earlier version, the brief one, that was my uh, old school uh, silent movie. Uh, now we're using sound. Uh, thanks for watching. Please stay safe. Please wear a face mask. Please use hand sanitizer. Please, let's drive those numbers down. Keep each other safe. You stay safe. Keep your family safe. Keep our community safe. Please, let's all take care of Santa Fe together. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.